What's up guys, I'm Steven from TechSteveHD.com and on this video I'm going to show you how to move your files from an Android device over to an iPhone. Now iPhone has a closed ecosystem so there's a lot of parts that's to this video which is going to make it a little bit longer. So sit back and relax and let's get started. <music> For this demo, we're gonna be using the Galaxy S9 moving over to an iPhone Max. Now, some things you wanna keep in mind is that you wanna make sure that your iPhone has enough storage. In addition to that, that you have the chargers handy just in case in the middle of this process, the batteries get low. So let me show you step-by-step step how to get started. The first thing you need to do if you already set up things in your iPhone is factory reset it. Now, keep in mind, you're gonna lose all the different settings and anything you've done into it. So let's go ahead and get started. Go ahead and press settings then press general. Go to the bottom and press reset. Press on erase all content and settings and this will delete everything from your phone. Keep in mind you will not be able to use any data that's in this phone at the moment. The final step is to press erase now to clear everything out. Enter your passcode and then press erase iPhone. Next, you'll need to enter your Apple ID to erase that as well. Then press Erase. While your phone is erasing, go ahead and go to the Android App Store and download this app. It is officially Apple, so it's called Move to iOS. Then go ahead and download it. You can go ahead and open it if you like to get it ready for your iPhone. Now the Apple device is ready to set up like a new device, go ahead and slide upwards to get started. Press on your language, press on your country, then press set up manually. Go ahead and enter your Wi-Fi code. Once it logs in, go ahead and press next. Now this phone is not set up with activation yet, but you can use Wi-Fi instead of the service if you like. Go ahead and press continue, and I'll set up the face ID later. You can set up a passcode, but I'm not gonna do one for this video. This is the screen we need to move the files from Android. You want to go ahead and press on Move Data from Android. Press Continue. Now that I have the code, go ahead and press Next at the top. And enter this code into your Android device. Now the phones are starting to connect through the Wi-Fi. It's going to move your Google's account as well as your camera roll. If that's OK, then continue to let it go. I press the Next at the top. Now the transfer is starting to move from your Android over to your iPhone. Now that we have the transfer complete, let's finish setting up the iPhone because it's a lot of work to still be done. We don't need the Android device right now, but we will need it to finish the moving the rest of the files. Now for your iPhone, go ahead and finish setting it up. Enter your Apple ID or create one if you don't have one. The next stage is you want to go ahead and enter your email account that you had set up on your Android device. And also, it's going to ask you if you want to download the applications that you had on your Android device. Now, any contacts or calendar events that you had on your Android will sync from here. On some applications, they're different from Android to iPhone, so it will not load up all of them. And you're going to need your username and password to get logged back into all those applications. If you didn't see the application that loaded up in the iPhone from your Android device, you can always go to the App Store and download it on your own. Now, let's do a check of some of the different settings. We're going to start off with your contacts. Now, I will tell you that the contacts are in here. It's going to be the ones that's located on your Gmail account. So that's a list of the ones that I created for the Gmail account. Now let's take a look and see what's in the Android. As you notice, it transferred the contacts that are located on my Gmail account. And that's where you see these tests right here. But these contacts are in the phone. They're not on the cloud. So how do I get them moved over to here? Let me show you how. There's all different kinds of ways to move contacts from one device to another. The best way is to use a computer, but I'm gonna try to do this without using the computer for this particular thing. All you wanna do is press the three dots in the corner and press share. Press on the contacts that you wanna move, press share, and then email them to yourself. And all I did is just enter the same email that's on the phone that I know I set up on this one, and go ahead and send it. Now go to your iPhone and open up the email. and slide down to refresh it. There it is at the top, press on it, and then download CSV files. At the top, you have add all five contacts. Go 
and then you want to create new contacts. Now let's go back into your phone and see if the contacts are there. And there you have it. There's all your contacts as well as the ones that was previously in there. For the next part of this video, there's all kinds of different ways to move your music. Now this is for people who actually loaded up music from their own computers onto the memory card. If you have Apple's music as well as Spotify, Pandora, you can just simply log back in your account and it will synchronize your files. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the memory card out of the Galaxy S9 and put it into the computer and show you how to synchronize it with iTunes over to your new device. Let's get started. I uploaded some temporary music to show you how to do this process. Here's the temporary files that I'm going to load into iTunes so we can add them to our directory on our phone. But first I need to find out if they're located either on the memory card or on the phone. On every type of Android device you have a file system. On the Samsung it's going to be under My Files. If you press on Audio and then Downloads, that's where all the music located. So this is how I can tell what's in the memory card and what's internal. From your main file system, if I hit internal and hit downloads, you can see all the songs that I had installed in there. But how do we move these to the memory card so I can remove it and put it in the computer? To move these over to the memory card is very easy. All you need to do is press internal storage. I like to press and hold down downloads and I know there'll be extra files in there. And then at the top, hit the three dots, then press move. And then I'm going to move it to the SD card. Now that we're on the memory card, I can press done. And now we see SD at the top, hit downloads. All the files have been moved over to the memory card. Now we're going to power down the Android device and put the memory card in this adapter. On a Samsung device, their memory card is actually next to the SIM card on top. And all you need to do is add it to the adapter and we're ready to load it up in the computer. Now that I have all my files moved over to this memory card, I'm going to use some cables and link it into iTunes so I can move my files over to the iPhone. Now if you have a PC, you probably don't have to do all these steps. You can plug your phone in directly. I just didn't want to install the Android software for the Mac to make it more complicated for people who are using different types of computers. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go over here to iTunes and go ahead and open up the file. Then plug in the USB and plug the other end into your iPhone. Once it's unlocked, you're going to get this little pop-up that says trust and go ahead and trust it. The Mac I'm using today does have a card reader, but if you have one of the new ones that only supports USB-C, you may have to give an adapter. So the first thing I'm going to do is find the files. They're right here in the downloads folder. I'm going to simply drag it to my desktop so I don't need to drive anymore. Now go ahead and open up iTunes. Once you open up iTunes, you need to go ahead and sync your phone. Now go to your main library and click on music. Now I'm going to drag the download folder over to my desktop. So you can see they're starting to load up right here. Now press on this icon right here and then press sync at the bottom. Now if you look under music on my device, you'll see the files right there. Now let's check on the phone and see if they're part of the music player. So there's all the songs from my Samsung device. Now remember if you have the Apple's music, you go to For You and log in and that music will show right up. We're almost done with this process. Now let's check the photos. The first thing we want to do is go into the Samsung gallery to see which photos are in there. Now let's take a look at the Apple photo. As you can see it moved all the files over. Another method of moving your files over is actually using the Google's Photo. Since Android software is ran by Google, you can download the Google's Photo app onto your iOS device and it will sync your cloud and show all the photos from that cloud right on your iPhone. At that point you can download them if you like to, but you don't have to. Now another thing about doing this process is that if you have any games or any apps that you logged in previously, you'll need to know the logins accounts. And keep in mind, if you're playing games and they don't have logins, it's not going to move all your files, so you'll have to start over on those games again. So that's the caveat of doing all these moves and transfer. But if you get this all done, you can start moving forward with your new iOS device. So I hope you liked this video and I hope it helped you guys out. And if you have any questions or you're stuck on something, please leave a comment below this video. And like all my videos before, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.